Good morning, Johnny here at One Mike Stream, and welcome to Disney's Epcot. And welcome to day one here in Disney World. If you haven't seen Travel Day, it's all linked down below, but welcome to Epcot. It's gonna be a full on day today, and I can't wait to share it with you. First off this morning, we're gonna do some rides. We have a boarding group for uh, Galaxy. Oh. I've had six hours sleep. Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> I really have had six hours sleep. Um, we're also going to do soaring and then it's Festival of the Arts. So we're going to be wandering around the festival, checking out some of the booths, eating lots of festival food today. And then this evening I have a private pontoon booked for the fireworks to see the fireworks here at Epcot. It is going to be an incredible day. And for now, welcome to Epcot. Festival of the Arts, like I said this morning, Beautiful sign, very empty in Epcot. Spaceship Earth looking beautiful and monorail blue just coming in. I love this sign, it looks spectacular. Just as you come in the main entrance next to the sign you have the festival passports here which is definitely worth a pick up because there's lots of fun things in here of information. So Festival of the Arts for 2024 and inside as you can see, sort of. Um, it has all the food items, what's on in each place, you can tick them off, which performer they're on on the Broadway. Great, so I'm going to pick up two of these. Set one there, and there we are, ready for the day. So just as you come in, you also have all your park maps as well, so make sure you get one. We started the day off by seeing the new Walt the Dreamer statue. Look at Walt, he is in. Incredible. Walt the Dreamer, dedicated to all who dream of a better tomorrow. The quote set me off more than the statue. And we're off. We are rope dropping this morning with extra magic hours and we're off to soaring. And it's soaring over California, which is something I've never done. So I'm very excited to see a different soaring. Let's head into the land pavilion. Monorail gold. And we're in. Hello, and welcome to Soren. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. Take off. Soaring over California was fantastic. Um, I think it should be a permanent fixture over in California in adventure. I think soaring over the world fits in Epcot better and is my personal favourite, but I really enjoyed that. I think the golf bit, uh, the coast, fantastic. Now while we're here, we're gonna do living with the land and it looks like they're just letting people in as and when people want to go on, so. Let's do living with the land. Love this attraction. Thank you. First bump now, of the day. Now, sit back, relax. Welcome to our living laboratories, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests. Love li living with the land. Now we're going to head into something completely new for me. We're going to do a journey of water inspired by Moana. It's a walk through educational water attraction and I'm really excited. It's early doors still. It's 12 minutes past nine, so it should be quite quiet and it's cool. So we're going to head through before we do Guardians of the Galaxy. So let's have a nose in. Here we go. That was real good. As we go in, it's hard to get Good morning, guys. Good morning. 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 Good morning
absolutely love Journey of Water. I think it's a great piece. I think it's traditionally Epcot in the fact that it's educational, the fact that it's just wonderfully beautiful. The theming is incredible. It's interactive. It's fun for all ages. Disney have knocked it out the park. I love what they're doing with Epcot. I love the Dreamer statue. I love this whole area. I, for one, think what Disney are doing with Epcot is fantastic. And the sun is peeping through and it is warming up nicely. Two, three. Woo! Yes! Yeah. I just can't say how incredible this is. The dancing fountain. I know this is that book with the water and the tidal was just, I got a little bit emotional and I'm not afraid to say it. The theme is just spectacular. I have to say, when eight of us was all waving our arms up to make the water wave back, I found it a little bit emotional. I think it's just the fact that eight people were all just having fun was just magical. Loved that. Highlight of my day so far. So newly opened just for Walt's birthday in December World Celebration Gardens. I love it. I think it's a beautiful space. A really nice attraction. I can't wait to come back and see it this evening. All beautifully lit up. But I think it's just such a lovely space to have rep pop. I really, really like it. Okay, okay. It's all my second time of riding Guardians. So, uh, let's give it a go. Cosmic Rewind, here we come. Put around not one, but three stars or suns. I loved that. We had a great song. It was Flock of Seagulls. Flock of Seagulls. I knew it, but I couldn't place it at the time. It didn't make me feel ill because I knew just as the part where you go and you're going around the planet, maybe to look at the track. So I felt fine. And the sun is out, so I've ditched my jacket. It is beautiful. It's a warm now. It's the perfect Epcot day. Three attractions, and we've been in the park an hour and a half. So. It's now time for some coffee and some shopping. Okay, we're caffeinated now, so we're going to head and check out some of the Festival of the Arts. It runs through January and part of February. Um, and there's lots of artist booths, lots of food and wine booths as well. So we're going to eat our way around the festival, have a few drinks as well. But first of all, we're going to check out some of the artists. So we have a few of the artists down here. It's nice to have a wander and just uh, have a browse. Okay, we're into Figment's Inspiration Station. And here they have the Rainbow Flights, which we are definitely trying, and potentially a rainbow cake with frozen skittles. So we'll give it a go. So here is our. So I got the beer flight, which tells you everything you've got. And the cake, so it's $15.95 for the two, and then Linda got the rainbow cider flight. How cold does that look? We'll try now. Okay, so I've tried my first beer, I'm gonna go for the second now. I have a 81 Bay Brewing Club Blue Butterfly Lager. It's made in Tampa, Florida. It is very blue, <laughs> very blue. Bit 
to taste to it. It's nice. And I have to say, the cake is absolutely delicious. It's like a really light, creamy birthday cake. It's very, very good. It's not going to go well. Very good. So the last one I've got is the Urban Artifact the Gadget Raspberry and Blackberry Midwest Fruit Tart. I have just tried it and it's like no beer I've ever tasted. It's from Ohio. It's, it's really peculiar. It's like a raspberry Kool-Aid, ultra bitter, but makes your mouth, and the only way I can describe it is go as, oh, tingly. Oh, it's bizarre. It's nice, it's bizarre. That, I highly recommend the flight and the cake. $15, very, very good. And uh, we're rating out a 10. I'd give it a solid 10. Solid 10. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, one of the sections of Festival of the Arts is the Paint by Numbers mural. So we're going to head to the paint distribution tent, pick up our paint, and then uh, do some painting. Well, entering here, I've got my paint and number one, I've got my brush, so just wait up and then we'll do some painting. So we have our number, Linda is number five, painting away. I was number one, so here's mine. I probably wouldn't score highly because I didn't really keep to the lines, I'm not going to lie. It's a fun experience, everyone's just painting away in the Florida sun and then you get your footmark at the end. Okay so I've just been to Craftsman's Courtyard which is just before Mexico Pavilion and I've got the coffee old fashioned. I love an old fashioned as you know so I thought it was only right it was $11.50 and oh, that's strong. <laughs> It tastes absolutely nothing like an old-fashioned. It's very nice. I'll probably give it a... I think you need to try it. At first taste, I'm probably going for a... A four out of ten. All he has is this. I'm like, not just yet. I'll come back to you on my final thoughts. Final ratings are in. I think I'm going to have to give it a 4.5. Quite watery. The main taste is sort of coffee. And it was $11.75. I think if it was a little bit less, it would go up the rankings. But I think for nearly a $12 drink in Epcot, it needs to be of a good, solid quality. And it doesn't even look particularly great. So, 4.5 is the final score. I wouldn't recommend to a friend. So for my selection, I have gone for the red wine braised beef short rib with parsnip puree and a blonde pale ale with a beautiful view of World Showcase. I shall give you my thoughts in a minute. Hope you can hear me. Um, just because the entertainment's just come on in the German pavilion. That um, beef short rib was beautiful, beautiful, the tender, great flavour and a great price, I have to say, with the blonde. 10 out of 10, fantastic, highly recommend. Um, very, very good, it'll be tough to beat, I have to say. Very, very happy. We're gonna watch the, uh, the band now. Next up, we've gone for the mozzarella fritta in Italy. It's $8.75, so we'll give you a heads up. We are on the uh, 
on the bridge as well. Very nice, all the dips was very nice. Um, very nice mozzarella, beautifully breaded. Um, out of 10, I'm going to give it to seven, purely on price. I think $8.75 is quite a high price. If it was about $5, it would get a 10. But it was very, very nice, very tasty. The dips was lovely. But I would uh, I'd give it a seven, purely on price perspective and value for money. Had a very good food day today. Very good indeed. Some time has passed, as you can tell, because it has gone a little bit dark. A good evening. Um, this afternoon, we had a wander around World Showcase. I headed back to the resort, um, had a bit of a sleep, and got something to eat just at the resort. And now I'm back. As you can see, the boardwalk is behind me, and I'm actually at the Yacht Club. Tonight, we have rented a private pontoon for the fireworks show over at Epcot. The new show, Luminous, the Symphony of Us, launched just before Christmas. And this is my first time seeing it and what a way to see it. So, as you can see, the pontoon's behind me. I'm going to tell you all about it um, and show you the whole experience this evening. Don't get me wrong, this isn't a cheap experience, but I'm going to tell you as much as I can as we go. So just before I kind of show you where we pick up the, the cruise from, the base rate for this cruise is $399. It's between 10 and 12 people, I think, on the actual cruise. So it's not bad value when you break it down. Um, we got annual pass holder discount, which was fantastic. And depending on where, which cruise you're on, periods of time of year, it depends on the price. But the base is $399. With that, you meet at 7.45 here at the Yacht Club from the Bayside Marina just behind me. Symphony is us is on at nine o'clock, so, and we have, I believe, till 11 o'clock on the cruise itself. Um, soft drinks and snacks are included, so there is quite a bit to do, and you get to go down into World Showcase, as you'll see, and hopefully have a great view of the fireworks. So to pre-book, you ring online, and it's all done, and you just pay over the line as well, um, and then you pick it up here. So like I said, to pick up, you meet at 7.45. You've got the Yacht Club just here. And as we pan around, it's very quiet this evening. You can see here the Bayside Marina, where we pick up. And there is a line of lovely pontoons just there for us. You can see that you've got the boardwalk just behind. Apologies, um, it's now, whether it's been updated, it was def I'm sure it was 399 but fireworks cruises, as you can see here, start at 449. This includes a driver and a maximum of 10 guests. Which, when you think, if you have 10 friend, uh, people on board, that's only $44 per person. Um, maybe I worked out as £399. That's probably right with the exchange rate. Um, so you've got kind of got the rentals there, and if you just wanted to rent it, you can do it for 49 dollars for 10 minutes uh, for 30 minutes for 10 guests as well so those are the prices and as you can see here here we have the pontoons it's a, such a lovely evening one of these five pontoons will be ours and they're just really beautiful like i said you can captain them yourself but on the fireworks cruises you have your own captain and i wonder which one is ours but they are lovely. As you can see as well, so you've got seating at the front here, space for the driver, some really nice space at the back, and a, a roof. I don't know how far that retracts depending on the weather, but it is a very nice evening, and I can't wait to board. So it's a little bit early, it's actually only like 6 p.m. We've got till a bit of time. We're gonna meet in the boardwalk myself and Linda, and we're gonna have a drink in the Ale and Compass, but what a perfect evening to be going on this pontoon. It will be dark by the time we set sail. I believe we go down to Hollywood Studios first, have a cruise around, 
just for your information as well, you can bring alcohol on board, you can bring your own, it just needs to be in a container that isn't glass. So we may have brought a glass of wine, uh, well, a can of wine uh, with us to take on board, but there are soft drinks and treats which I will show you later on. So we'll just check out the yacht club and then we'll be on the pontoons. Just kind of for a point of just for a point of reference, we're in a great location, but if you wanted to get here, um, you, I got an Uber from my resort, it was $5, which is a bargain, but basically, down this way is Epcot, and you can come in at the back of Epcot. You've got Disney's Boardwalk, and then up this way, you've got the Swan and Dolphin Resorts and Hollywood Studios. So in theory, you could get the bus from your resort into Epcot or Hollywood Studios and just walk down. But for five dollars, I just got the Uber. So much space. We've just come in this way. Here's all the other guests, the day guests. Just watching from the wall. Meanwhile, we're here. We have snacks here. So there's Mickey at Rice Krispie Treats, Oreos, and then in here. <laughs> There are all sodas and soft drinks. This is absolutely bonkers with a view. And we've just all been tied together. Head of the fire. Absolutely incredible. Thanks. I'm getting pretty poor at finishing these videos. <laughs> However, once I get into the resort, I just fall asleep. So, um, sorry for I didn't finish off last night, but what a night on the pontoon. It was absolutely fantastic. Yes, it is, the starting is 449. It is expensive, it is for 10. If you have 10 guests, I think $49 per person is a steal. It is a bargain. The treats, the view, the tour, the experience, the cast members, fantastic. Even if there's two of you, if it's in your budget and if it's in your price room, I highly recommend the private pontoon. I would love to do it from at Magic Kingdom and check it out for Happily Ever After, but I think the location in Epcot is the, the biggest draw. It was absolutely fantastic. It's 11 out of 10 incredible evening and I absolutely loved my day at Epcot. Really relaxing, really good fun and just a good old fashioned Epcot day. Now I'm heading into, as you can see, Disney's Animal Kingdom. I'm doing the Wild Africa Trek today. I have Nomad Lounge and I'm gonna do some of my favorite wild attractions here so you will not want to miss next Sunday's video. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching today here at Epcot. 
and have a lovely evening. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see you guys next Sunday here at five o'clock on One Max Stream. Ta-ra!